you will be using this Desmos uh, calculator to investigate the relationship between the intervals of concavity of a function and the sign of the second derivative. So in this folder there's a quick explanation of what to do. All three investigations basically you are doing the same thing. You are looking at the intervals over which a function is concave up and concave down and then you're looking at the sign of the second derivative for those intervals of concavity. So the first one is actually just uh, a parabola and so you're going to turn that on and you can control its concave upness and its concave downness just by turning on or sorry manipulating this slider s and uh, once you get kind of familiar with that turn on the second derivative which is sort of indicated here by ddx ddx a of x and uh, a of x is the original function so it's taking the derivative twice there it is it's in purple right now I'm gonna change this from concave up and I'm gonna notice the sign of the second derivative and I'm gonna change it to concave down good so once that's done you just turn those off again so it doesn't get confusing close that up and then you do the next one now the next one is even more interesting because it's third degree so you'll notice there's an interval of concave down concave up uh, you can also change it all around uh, using these sliders which control the intercepts or you can flip it up and down using these. Anyways, once you get used to that, turn on the second derivative so you can see it and then look for a relationship between the con intervals of concavity, in other words the intervals of concave up and concave downness, and the sine of the function. Finally, as you can imagine, uh, because we don't do things by halves here. This is the third one. Oh, geez, turn these off. It is just a mess in here. Okay. Anyways, turn these on. This is uh, this is actually a trig function, and you'll notice it's concave down and concave up and concave. It just can't make up its mind. Anyways, here's the second derivative, and then you can change the phase shift and uh, draw a conclusion.